Oh my. Okay. Third floor fun. Let's see. Oh. Have to move a room. Have to move some boxes of eBay boxes. <laughs> Lots of trim. Oh, Jesus. That made a clunk noise. What the heck is in there? This is all stretch lace. Spools of it. I have to get that on the line. Old lights. Now. <laughs> the Christmas lights are here somewhere. And this is all the winter clothes. Oh, hmm. Well, <laughs> let's figure out a way to get around that. Now we're over that. There's some Christmas stuff. I wasn't kidding when I said every bit of my house is stuffed. Every wee little bit. This is cool. That has to get downstairs at some point. There we turn that on. Hmm. But, you know, <laughs> this is what a lot of us deal with. We have stuffed attics. And you need to go through this stuff. Oh, that should have had a lid on it. Well, lucky for me, these are right here. Outdoor Christmas lights. And you know what I've got? Ugh, let's get them down. I've got the old ones. No, these should not. Other than top string, all other... Oh, that's the box of untested ones. That's the box where I need to get these reflectors dealt with. But this is the ones for outside. And you can see all there, all the big bulbs, the old style ones. But they're all the ones that work. And we're going to see if we can't get them up today. I'm going to take a peek through a box of Christmas stuff and see what could go. I think these two could go. I've never had them out of the box. My mother used to get all of her daughters, including her daughter-in-laws, who she considered her daughters, but she used to get all of them. Oh, well, there's my queen of hearts. But she used to get everybody these dolls for Christmas, all the girls. And she, my sister did a neat thing. She had them on a wreath. Oh, there's one of my red pixies. I don't like the elf on the shelf. I don't like him at all. But I do like the little red pixies. Oh, oh, who's he? He's a tiny little green one. And, oh, I know, that is Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Now, in the books, she does not a blonde. She, Alice Little was not a blonde. So, I'm always looking for more of those. Let's see. Harry Potter, not willing to give up Harry. Mischievous Kittens, not that either. What is this? This says Blue Icicles. Oh, hello there. There's something more than Blue Icicles. Look at her. I have a couple of them. I found one or two on my own, but I also have two or three from my parents' stuff. There is the Blue Icicles. I really like that particular type of or ornament. I'm not super happy. I don't, with the orange ones, I'm not a big orange person, but 
of orange fingernails right now because, you know, Halloween and Thanksgiving. So we'll put that there. Who's down in there? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Couple more little pixies. Put you back. Avon Gift Collection Victorian Ladies. What do we got here? You know, I'll tell you, I don't know how so many of you do this with one hand and actually get things out of boxes. I am just not that coordinated. Oh, now see, she looks more like, like to me, like Victorian winter kind of stuff. So, she's going to stay. I really like that with the holly and all that, so we'll put her back in there. A lot of this stuff has rarely seen a tree. Well, see, there's more of them. And Miss Pamela, Pamela Blanchard, told her I had a bunch of these old icicles, and, and most of these don't glow anymore. They're so old, and I just got some off her live sale. I'm sure they'll be here soon. But that's two things out of that box. Let's see if I can get to those. Let's see what treasure's hiding up here. This box turned out to not be all Christmas. This was something I picked up at the Arden Fair. I cannot read that mark. I know it's not Arden George. Um, this is a little thing that I've had since I was a little kid. We picked this up in Holland, Michigan. It says made in Japan. It was, I remember it being all dusty. Focus. There we go. But it is a pretty little thing. But I can't see it fitting in the decor that I have planned for this house. So, I think that will join the little ladies over here that are leaving. But the rest of this seems to all be either the fairies I've collected over the years. This is the wee folk stone. Well, there's their little picture of her. And then, I'm pretty sure these are Boy Scout mugs that had been my father's. So, as I'm not ready to purge my fairies yet, we will wait on the rest of this. Let's see if I can get to another box. Well, this one should be interesting because I'm not sure what's hiding here. I think that's a McCoy. It does have a mark. Yeah, I have the box of lights ready for you. And I'm seeing what is hiding away. There's only a little fairy tin. That maybe there might be a few things I could put online that don't fit with what I plan to do with the house in the future. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think the owl can go. The little owl could leave. And I think that could go. I'll have to figure out. Made in something. I'll have to take a look at that with a jeweler's loop. That I don't know. I'll need to wrap that before I put it in the bag. Take it downstairs. One of my very few St. Patrick's pieces. That's not going anywhere. Yeah. Oh, these. Love the shape. Hate the color. USA. So I'll have to look up and see who made those. There should be a second one. But 
like I said, like the shape, hate the color. So, I thought I had two. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, everybody needs to dig through there for Easter and springtime. I'm always looking for those little leftin rabbits and chicks and tuck you back in there where you're safer. And then there's whatever this big piece. I see pink. I see pink McCoy. Pink McCoy is not leaving. This is pretty though. I got this a couple years ago because it's just, I mean, I know they're, they look like they got, come on, focus, focus, they look like they have feather wings, which would make them cherubs, but <clears throat> her wings are different, doesn't want to focus that well. But I just thought that was a really cool piece. I don't think it ever had a lid. And no markings. And it's pretty old. But I just think it's pretty cool. You can see a, a pan there. So I just thought that was a pretty cool old piece. So I'll wrap that one back up. And put that one back in. I don't think I can get to the other box because I'm just too far down for me to get to that one. So I think that's as far as I'm going to get today because I have to go help put lights up. But as you can see, you know, I'm not that far from the door. It's right here. I'm just, oh, what, two feet in? <laughs> but it's a start, you know. Mostly worrying about the first floor more than up here, but I wanted to see if I could find some Christmas stuff. And we'll see what else I can find and tag it to this video. Tag this onto the little snippets of my attic. You saw how packed it was. For those eagle-eyed viewers, you might even see a vintage Walt Disney uh, toy chest that has the three little pigs and the big bad wolf on lithographed paper that goes all the way around it. But I figured I'd show you some of the stuff we found. I did show you this. You saw this and I found out now this is made by Shawnee. It just says USA on the bottom and has a code number. Um, code number 1178. So it's made by Shawnee. They made it in a couple colors. This, some places have this listed as Art Nouveau. This is not Art Nouveau, this is Art Deco. If it were Art Nouveau, there'd be more curves to the side here. Art Deco is very straight, very geometric. Art Nouveau started adding all these nice swirls to things. So this is an Art Deco piece. They made it in a really nice bright yellow. If this were yellow, I'd be keeping it. Because I don't like this color. I'm not a fan of light green. So this is going to be in Thursday night's sale. There will be another live sale. Those that were at the sale towards the end, they talked me into that I should do this as a weekly thing, but I work until 10, so the sale would not be able to start until 11 p.m. So they, they're gonna have to be short and sweet, you know, an hour and a half, and we get through whatever we get through. But this lovely little piece of Shawnee pottery will be going up that night. Comps on these things are all over the place from, from $6 on up to the highest one I saw was 29, but that one was unique. It was yellow, but all this stuff in here was metallic gold and I think that one was a more specialized piece. So I don't expect this to go that high. It'd be nice, but I don't expect it. So this little piece of Shawnee will be 
in Thursday night's live sale starting at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time after a uh, trusty huckster mercantile has his and he has said he's going to do some short shorter sales so um so there may be a gap there because as i said i, I work at least the next three thursdays so i can't start until later but some of the stuff you saw in the video will give you a closer look oh let me take the rocks <laughs> can you see that they're little uh smooth stones from lake michigan because it's the first vacation I remem really remember a lot of when we did family vacations, you know, shoving all the kids in the car, pick a different state. Um, I think they, they didn't start usually taking you until you were about five or six. And the first place I can remember going to was Holland, Michigan, and was so fascinated with that place that I remember everything about that part of the trip and pretty much nothing else. But this was something that I remember getting there, and I kept pestering my mom. She kept swearing I'd break it, but I've had it ever since. Um, it is made in Japan. It's a cute little porcelain shoe. Would make a nice little air planter. Personally, I think it would look cool if you could find miniature tulips. Little tiny tulips and have it coming out of it for spring. So that'll be in the live sale. That's something we found. This owl, this neat little owl creamer, it is a tiny opening in there for the mouth, but he does have a really neat face. Now, he's not particularly old. He has a copyright on him, um, J-S-N-Y, so it's whoever it is, is J-S, probably New York, made in Taiwan, so he's probably from the 70s. Maybe the 80s. At some point I thought he was a really neat piece. And for a while there I was collecting blue and white stuff. So he'll be in the sale. That's something I found in the attic. And you'll get a closer look at these two little girls. That I was talking about my mother getting them. Getting different dolls for us girls. Um. Uh, but mine have never, a lot of mine have never been on a tree, never been out of their boxes if they had boxes. These are two of them. They're not, a, there were some that were really unique and unusual. And those, I know I'm keeping, but those two, those two could go. I found this. This is a neat vintage piece. Now this end's got some wear there. Looks like we stood something up in there. Um, but this end is good. Look at the graphics on that. Isn't that great? It's really cool looking. So I did I did think about keeping it, but I have other stuff that, that I'd keep. Now, it does have some of the wide plastic ribbon. I did, I spent six years measuring fabric at Joanne Fabrics, and then years before that would measure it out for my mother. So I did measure it out. It is roughly three yards worth still on here. So there's roughly nine feet left. It says it's supposed to be 15 feet for 49 cents. Artistic Manufacturing Company, Carlstadt, New Jersey. But it would be so cute in your little decorations for Christmas. That'll be in the live sale. Um, that was some of the stuff I found. What else did I find? Oh, I found this up there. Boy, did this clean up well. It wasn't even this color. I have to look it up. It just says USA. There was a piece of tar over here. Now this little black line, it doesn't come off on your finger. I took a knife and then I took, I had to take some um, cleanser and a miracle eraser to get the rest of it off. But all that's left is this part that stained some of the porcelain. And there is a tiny little manufacturer spot way back in the corner that looks a little gray because maybe at some point it had a plant in it though I don't know I mean there's nothing to indicate it ever had a plant in it it just says USA so I have no idea who the maker is this has been sitting on top of a shiferobe in our attic for as long as I can remember so 
it's time to send that on to somebody else. But I think being that white color with a matte finish like that, you could make some fantastic little arrangements for the holidays in there. And I think that was it from what I pulled from the attic. So I'm not sure if these are going to go on to eBay or onto the live sale. But I have two of these. Well, they're exactly the same. Have the they look identical. I don't think there's I always thought the Camel's kids that there were two of them, but these have the same face on both sides. 1998 Campbell's Soup Company. So um, these are kind of cute, but I think these, I will have to look up the comps and see if they will be in the live sale or if they will be on to eBay. They have been packed away since at least 2009 because that's the date on the newspaper. What are you? They are some kind of a stone. Oh, guess. Like an agate? It's kind of short. I've buried my ruler, so I can't measure it. Um, but that, that's kind of a short necklace. It has... Whoever gets it, it really should get re-strung. It has quite an old clasp to it. But I think that will go into the live sale. We'll put that over there. I found some cool stuff, though. You want to see a picture of my mom? This is so incredibly old. So back in the day, they used to sell things and, and make things. And this is one of my siblings. I can't tell if that's I, David. Or Steve. Uh, they both had glasses. They both had their ears sticking out, just like our father. So I think they used a glass coaster for under the furniture. Put the picture in, because then this is plaster. But isn't that a fun little thing? But that's a little family thing. But apparently at some point you could get pocket mirrors made up. You can see how old this is and that it's doing all this. And you can see you can see the reflection of the laptop above it, and see the thrill of the thrifts um, vintage sale from right now. Wow, that's a fantastic candle holder. It's a log with holly and stuff on it, made by Atlantic Mold, huh? Anyway, somebody at some point made these up, and that is my mother as a babe. It's a little tiny one, Alda Ann Yost. Alda is not a common name, and she stopped using it as her first name when MASH came out because there was the Alda family of actors, Alan Alda and Robert Alda, and, and that became a problem because everybody started telling her her name was Alda and not Alda. When it's a first name, it's Alda. So she was named after one of her grandmothers. Then I've got some odd little bits, tiny little, where's that camera? This side. Tiny little pieces of jewelry. There's, there's two. Is that a third one? No, that's, that's an old high school pin. I've got two old Girl Scout pins. Now this one is a lot older than this one. And I really have to look up. There's a tiny little mark on the back of this one. That this one might be 12 carat. But this one that's showing the wear on it. And you can see a base metal underneath. This one's from my sister. But my great aunt was a Girl Scout. And this, I think, might be hers. I sold off some of those original Girl Scout um, merit badges, and man, oh man, <laughs> those early ones per badge are pretty pricey. Then there's this teeny, teeny little pin. 
V for victory. This is a 1970s Boy Scout pendant. This is neat, and I don't know if there's a market for these things, and I have to check. There's all kinds of hallmarks on the back. But this is probably sterling. This is a high school pin. Is it going to focus? Stop focusing on my hand and focus on the piece. Nope, it's going to focus on my fingers more than my more than my thing. So, does anybody know about like 1930s, 1940s high school pins? Um, maybe there's a market for it in the his local historical society because that GN is for Glen Nor, which was Glen Olden Norwood. They don't exist anymore. Neither does Prospect Park High where my father went because it um they both consolidated and became um, Innerboro High School. I also found these two, which maybe my viewers can tell me. They are two, well, my own hands in the way, I can't see if it's focusing. Two religious medals, I think. They're very thin. Um, I'm guessing they came from my dad's, not my dad's, my mom's father, but I have no idea. And this one has to be some kind of a saint. But I don't know who the rose one would be. So if you guys know, put it in the comments below and let me know. And this was another one. A little pin. Student Council Honor Award. Glen Noor. So again, something from my mother. I can't wait till I can get a digital camera that can focus better. <laughs> the other cool one, and she needs a nose job. Um, she also needs a back. She's missing the back. She's plaster. I've seen all kinds of chalkware stuff hanging on walls. I've never seen a chalkware pin, but look at her. She's just really cool. You know, this is, this is wool, I think, wool felting. Um, braided hair, little fuzzy wool piece or velvet flowers. She's just really cool looking. The hair goes all the way down underneath. She's got one chip on the bottom. There's no markings on this at all. And she's got the chip, you see the messed up nose? She's got rhinestones for eyes. I've never, ever seen anything else like her. I don't know who would have made her or if it was a kit you made at home. I don't know. But she's such a unique little piece. I don't know whether I'm selling her or not. Partly because the nose kind of worries me. <laughs> I'm not sure anybody would want her with a chip on her nose like that and that little bit of discoloring on her nose. But she really is very different. Another piece of jewelry, just a little swish. Looks almost like the Nike swish. An old marble. Radiator keys, be keeping them. Remember back in the day when the hospitals used to put these little glass beaded bracelets on the baby? My mother actually still had one. It's such a tiny thing. It's it, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's it's too big to be a ring. <laughs> that may end up in my curio shelf. And I have to look up the comps on this because I had bought this for my mother a long while ago. And it says Annie 1914. So I have to look up the comps for this, but it was mom, so I also need to check. There's a couple of family members I know that might want that. So I will have to double check on that. It's in pretty good shape. There's just a couple of little dings to the 
to the uh, ruby. The ruby seems to be flashed on on the inside. Now I did have a collector of these warn me that there's a lot of fakes in the market for these, but I don't really know how to tell. So even if I was going to sell it, I've got a lot of research and learning to do to make sure it's an authentic one because I don't want to sell it as, as an authentic and then find out it's not. But that, that was what was found hiding in the attic for this current little, you know, dig around to see what was there. So I thought you might enjoy seeing it up close, um, hearing that there will be a live sale, knowing that there'll be a cool piece of Shawnee hiding in that live sale, and a few other little things. I'm still working on invoices for everybody from the last one, because I got one done and then the printer acted up. So we're still working on that. It seems like it's completely out of ink. I'm not a happy camper about that, but um, we'll get that all straightened out and, and you will have your invoices soon. Um, I work Sunday and Monday, so it may, might not be until Monday or Tuesday, but you will have them. You will have them, I promise. You will have them. Your stuff is all safe. It's all here. And there's one giant pile that I have to figure out how to get it all into the box safely, because that has to go to Canada. But we'll get it together and we'll make it work. So hopefully you like what you saw and you'll be at the next live Thursday night at 11 p.m. Short and sweet for an hour and a half and we'll have fun we did the last time we had a blast i couldn't believe that one for three hours but we will do little short sweet ones on thursdays come and have some fun with us if you like what you saw hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications and have a great week you know december's right around the corner New Year's will be right after that, and we can see the back end of 2020. Won't that be great? <laughs> so bye! <laughs> Have a good week!